Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a short sermon clip or video by using CapCut. CapCut is a free software, you can download it for free. Once you have it, you're going to open up a new project. So once your new project is open, uh, this is what it looks like. So you just want to make sure to import everything. So you can just click it right here or you can just drag it in. I'm going to drag in my clip. Alright, so now that, that it is there, I'm going to bring this clip down timeline right here and now you're gonna see that there's this right side that has opened up now this is the right side where you can see the position and size and the scaling and there's this ratio button I'm gonna click it and this is the actual sizes that you're gonna use if you want to do it this format you can do that uh, but for me I'm gonna do TikTok and Instagram I'm gonna be using uh, this size right here uh, the 916 so I'm gonna click on it and so as you can see it's kind of small now so I'm gonna just up it a little bit and then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna want to put a background so you're gonna go to this website called motion array and it's a website where you pretty much just go there to get a uh, background and I'm gonna just show you real quick uh, so this is motionarray.com and if you go and search uh, just like background templates or motion graphics you're gonna find a bunch and the one I found is this 3D rainbow. You don't have to use this. This is just an example. You can use any of these backgrounds if you have a subscription. If you're interested in uh, purchasing this for Motion Array, I have this refer a friend and you'll both get two extra months. So I'm gonna put this link in my description below and then you can sign up if you like. All right, so now we're back. And so now we're gonna put the background in this timeline. So I'm just gonna drag it in. So as you can see here, it dragged into the a media section right here for import. I'm just going to drag into my timeline. All right, so as you can see, it went on top, and that's not what I wanted to do. So what I'm going to do is uh, first, I'm going to actually zoom in first. This is the visual for the background. All right, so it seems like I have to make it a little bit longer. I'm just copying and pasting, and if you look through it, it's just a flawless loop. Now I'm just going to combine them by doing group, and now we have a group together. So now what I'm going to do is turn this around and then do 90 degrees here and then stretch it out. So I'm going to put this on the bottom. So I'm going to just drag this up so it is in front of it. And now you want to make sure that you find a clip as well. So this is like a 30 minute sermon. So you just want to make sure you find a short uh, 15 to 45 second clip. Uh, you can actually do this first before you actually put the background image, but just showing you that uh, it doesn't always have to be properly in order. Okay, so I found my clip and I just shortened it to about 20 seconds right here. And so I can see that the background is actually a little bit longer than expected. Uh, let me just ungroup this real quick. And then I'm just going to delete the excess and then shorten this one. And uh, this is what it looks like so far. And if we can just stop here. Oh, I just noticed that this one is not turn so let me just turn this one okay so the next thing we're gonna do is a mask and this is pretty much the shape of it and I'm gonna do a circle method so here's a circle I'm gonna click on it and as you can see there's a circle and I'm just gonna make the circle bigger until it uh, goes to the both sides right here and then you want to make the actual video bigger too so it fills in the whole circle so you're gonna just make sure to click on it so you go back to basic just fill in the space all right make it smaller all right, perfect. The speaker's on the, uh, the left side, so I'm going to move it to the left side, uh, right side a bit. I'm going to actually turn off the mask first, so I'm going to make sure he's centered. Then uh, let's go back to the mask. All right, much better. All right, so I noticed that the speaker's going to the right a little bit, so let me just fix this, the positioning of the video here. So just cut this part out, and then just go to take off the mask, and i got to actually bring this to the left a bit, and then put the mask back on, and then center it back. So that looks good to me. Um, I can adjust the circle a little bit more, but that's fine. Uh, the speaker is right in the center now. So you want to make sure that the speaker is actually being shown. All right, so we can stop here if you like, but if you want to add more, I like this feature in CapCut, and this is the main reason why I use CapCut, is this thing called the text for the auto captions. So you're going to basically go to text here and then just press auto captions. So you can see the auto captions on the bottom. Uh, you just want to make sure to click on them and see if it's actually uh, correct. And then so just check through each one. So now what you, you want to do is highlight all of them. And then you want to position this a little bit on the bottom area. And then you can also bring this to the top a bit too as well. 
I want to bold it and you can use any font you like. I'm going to do uh, Poppins. I want to bring the font to at least 12. That seems to look the best to me. And I do want to put a shadow. So I'm going to press shadow and I'm going to do the opacity 100%. It's up to you. Uh, the angle's up to you as well. You can do stroke and it brings out the text more. And then you can also do a background as well. All right. Okay, that's pretty much it. And then now you're going to see the full video. As God speaks a prophetic word into their lives and they believe it, they're going to receive it. But when the enemy comes in the lives of an individual into the mind and tries to reject that word by bringing doubt and unbelief, and then the individual believes that lie, they're going to be subject to that lie. Is it making sense? Yes. So once you check it, now you're going to export it. So on the right top corner, it says export. You're going to click on it and then just bring it to your desktop or any folder you like. You can title it. I'm just going to leave this one alone. And then um, I like to do a 60 for this one. And then the format will be a MP4. 4K looks good. And then I'm going to leave all of this unchecked and then export it.